Hey guys, it is Pam Saxman again. I am Director of Agent Growth and Development, and today's topic is the hiring process. So join me in just a second for some tips and tricks on hiring the right talent. All right, so my goal for you guys is not to go through a painful hiring process. And believe me, I have learned from experience of hiring uh, maybe not the best candidates. So learn from me, do better than me. So part of it is developing an actual process and also defining what you want this person to, uh, what their job responsibilities are, and maybe some personality traits that would lend themselves uh, to doing this job really well. So slow down, um, really think this through because hiring can be very, very expensive, not to mention it's a huge time suck because you can't just hire people and, and commonly let's just let them do the job. There's a lot of training involved. So you have to have enough time in your schedule, dedication and understanding what material that person is going to need to learn from you so that you can set them up for success. There's nothing worse than hiring someone and not supporting them. They become angry at the job. They don't do it particularly well. And then you become frustrated as well. So I think we have to take some ownership of that. Right. So if people don't work out. It's typically because we didn't hire very well. So how do you do that? Right. So one thing that I have leaned on in the past is I commonly sometimes have people uh, fill out a disk assessment prior to us meeting. Now, it's not the 100 percent reason why I hire someone, but it can let me know a little bit more about their personality. It just gives me some insights. It also gives me some talking points during our interview. A lot of people have not done disc personality assessments, so they they may not have some self-awareness about their personality traits. So it's really cool dialogue. If you haven't uh, really met someone, you just have some jumping off points of what you think. You know, do you think that you're really an SC? Uh, so let's talk about that further. What did you learn about yourself? So that can be kind of fun and it can also uh, make an interview process a little bit more relaxed. So do a disc assessment. So what are you looking for in your disc assessment? I will say if I'm hiring someone that is going to be a very strong admin or transaction coordinator for me, then I'm going to need to see a higher level S, which is for stability and service and C, which is for conscientiousness. So they tend to be a little bit more analytical. You need someone that's very detail oriented in that role, correct? So I, I want to make sure I see a certain level of that because again, I want to make sure I'm hiring the right person for the job. Now in turn, if I'm hiring a real estate agent, a buyer's agent, something like that for my team, then I like to see high eye as a natural quality. Now everybody can be successful in real estate. Again, it's just some information, right? But high I people are very extroverted. They love to talk. Um, they ask a ton of questions. They're naturally very curious. They tend to be great salespeople by nature. So, you know, why train something hard <laughs> if you have something natural in front of you? I also like to see a certain level of S um, because, again, that stability and service. Um, if there's a higher level S, they tend to be a little bit more loyal. And also um, will give really great customer service because they will care a ton about people. So they'll tend to do a really good job for you. So I love IS and I like to see a little bit of driver in there too, too a D. So driver means they're a little bit competitive. Um, they like results. So they're not one to just get goals and kind of just, you know, lay on them. They're very, very motivated. These people tend to end up being your team leaders or mega icon agents down the road. So if they're really high D, I don't know how long they're going to stay with you. Something to, to note. But having some D is really awesome to see as a salesperson. All right. So now we have a little baseline of personality type. Don't forget your interviews. So we have prepared um, a talent agent attraction worksheet and a lot of that is just some really great basic questions so that I can get to know someone really well, because I want to be very slow to hire and quick to fire. 
And the reason why I say that is I'm going to take a long time to get to know you. I don't want to have a bunch of people just in, in and out of the business. That's not how we have created this. We want to have the right people on the bus right from the start. So I have a little bit of a longer interview process. Ask a ton of questions. If they pass the test with me, um, then commonly I'll get them connected with Tina so that she can get a read on them too and see if they may be a great fit for the team as well. So it has to work for, for kind of all of us there. But take some time, develop your questions. What's important to you to know about um, a candidate? So some that I have on here as well. Um, is what skills do you think are most important to be successful in real estate agent? It's kind of interesting to know, right? Tell me your story. I want to know a little bit about you so I can um, understand what kind of makes you tick. What would be your marketing strategy for your business? What are you looking for in a brokerage firm and partnership? Describe a difficult situation or challenge you faced in the past and how you've responded. I want to see how, how easy this person is to work with. And what ways do you personally contribute to your professional development? Also, always looking for people that are looking to grow. They're looking to grow mentally, looking to grow in their business, and they're not afraid to challenge themselves uh, to learn a little bit more. So again, do some disk assessment, have a process, have a plan. And then later on, we're going to talk about now what? How do we set expectations and, um, you know, how do we do a job description? So that one is next. See you soon.